Hello and welcome. Did the title give it away? Probably. So what's this £123 Firebird type thing all about? Let's just get the unboxing done and I'll do a voiceover as we go because there's a wee bit of a story to this one. Okay, so I've been a wee bit worried about this one. Johnny at the Budget Guitar Show got one of these about nine months ago, depending on when this video comes out. And his came with a cracked headstock. Ooh. Now, as you can see on this, the shipping label and the box are facing in opposite directions. So if it's been shipped upside down, that could be a bit troublesome. Johnny's always the first to try out this stuff. Definitely check out the Budget Guitar Show channel for the most up-to-date stuff. A link in the description. I'm equally excited and worried. And oh dear, as we can see, it looks like this box is upside down. After the first one of these Johnny got with a cracked headstock, he got a second one, which was totally fine. And he's still playing it in some videos these days. Other people have had some different problems with faulty electronics, etc. And that's what I'm hoping we've got here. So let's see what we've got. Okay, well it all seems to be in one piece. The headstock is attached to the neck. Usually I fully skipped my videos, like this bit right now. But for these first impressions videos, I just try to wing it and give it a true proper representation. Okay, we're back and it's here. Let's see what we've got going on. So this is the Fazley FFB 318 SB. So, it's a Firebird shape type thing, isn't it? Right, luckily we've got no headstock break, so that's good news. It does feel like it's going to need some kind of adjustments. Some of the reviews I've seen online were that there were some electrical issues, so I'm going to test that first. So hold on while I get plugged in. And as always, we'll get a chance to test if the silent cable works with it. Let's see. Oh, we have power. Right. I think I can already tell that it's not in tune. Do you want to hear the tuning? Beautiful. Right, that's good news. So that's the neck pickup, which seems to be on. So like I said, some of the reviews I've seen, um, someone said that the three-way switch didn't work or only worked one of the pickups or something. And other people said that one of the pickups didn't work. So let's just see if all that works. Well, hey, we've got a winner. So, so far, all the electronics work and the neck, <laughs> the headstock is still on. So I think we're on to a winner so far. Right, I'm just going to unplug this again because that's for later. A bit of a disclaimer here. Bax have sent me Fazley guitars to review in the past, but they didn't send this one. I bought this one myself. I knew Bax wouldn't be keen to send this one for review as it's been discontinued, which I think means that it's not up to the standard that Bax slash Fazley are aiming for these days. Fazley have been in the conversation of comparison to Harley Benton and Jet, but Fazley are a younger company and some of the older models are not the best quality similar to some of the older Harley Benton models. But Fazley have been up in their game recently with some of their new models, which I'll link video reviews to somewhere. Description up here somewhere, I don't know, I'll link them. Weight feels really good. I like that it's lightweight. I think it's probably a bit neck heavy. I'll try that with a strap shortly and we'll test that out. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be neck heavy. Or is it? Maybe not. I've never had a Firebird thing before, so not really sure what to do with it. Two volumes, two tones, stop tail, all that kind of jazz. The neck, it feels completely unfinished, like it's raw. There's no gloss, there's no satin, there's no nothing by the feel of it. Which is kind of weird. I might put something on this, some kind of wax or something, I don't know. I might put something on it, we'll see what happens. Now, there's a couple of people to blame for giving me Firebird gas. The first one is Robert Baker, after he released his video a couple of months ago. Uh, Steve, if you happen to see this video, Hi Steve. Where he got his new real deal vintage Gibson one and it sounded spectacular. That kind of started the gas. I believe you got it from Tom Bukovac, if that's right. So Firebirds have never really been on my radar at all. But in recent years I've been drawn to guitars with different style pickups particularly Gretsch Tron type pickups or gold foils, that kind of thing. So I wanted to dip my toes in the Firebird 
nest and just get a feel for it. Then I came across Johnny at the Budget Guitar Show's video on this guitar. And I thought, this could be perfect. A very cheap introduction to this style of guitar. In fact, that's probably the cheapest one I've seen. And I've had some good luck with Fazley guitars before. So I went looking on backs and I found them, but unfortunately, they were discontinued. So naturally, I cried for a few hours. <laughs> Then a couple of weeks later, three of them popped up back in stock again. Yay! Unfortunately, I left it too late to pull the trigger and they were sold out again. Then the next day, there was two back in stock again. So I jumped on it. I couldn't let it slip away again. And it was only £123. Right, let's get back to it. Let's hear it. It's not in tune. That's not a big deal. I don't expect it to be in tune. But yeah, the action feels quite high. Uh, I'll maybe test the relief. I'm going to use the tools. I'm going to just do that now and see if I can make some improvements before I start. Also, these strings are... They're not good. And I'm not quite sure what gauge to put on it. It doesn't say on the website what gauge it ships with. I'm guessing 10s because it's the 24.75 inch scale length, like a Gibson. Like a Gibson! I might put 9s on it. Or, I've actually got a set of 9.5s. Might put them on. Right, bear with me till I make some adjustments. Okay, first things first. I'm going to tune it up to pitch and then see where we're at. Aha, reverse headstock, that's thrown me off already. One thing I've noticed straight away is the tuners are not great quality, which is to be expected. But also when I'm turning them, they feel like they're quite close together. And maybe the keys are a little bit too big, because when I'm turning them, they're kind of like almost touching the next one. The spacing just seems a little bit off and a bit closer together than I'm used to. Okay, I'm going to check the neck relief. Okay, that's about 2.5 mil from the 12th fret, which is quite high for me. But it's just that this truss rod cover is going to be staying off for the next wee while because I've got a feeling I'll need to make quite a few adjustments over a period of time. Let's see if the supplied hex key fits. We've been here before with Vasley. We are in, but will it turn? Oh yeah, it's completely loose. In fact, let's see if this is going to work at all. I've got a bite. So far, this is a good sign. So it was 2.5 mil action at the 12th fret, and it was completely loose, and now it's starting to tighten, so this is looking good. Normally people would tell you to give this like an eighth or a quarter of a turn at a time, but I can tell this needs quite a bit, so I'm just going to go for it. Okay, that was quite a lot. Tune it back up. At this point, I'd rather make it too straight. I'm just wanting to see how close to the fretboard we can get it. Okay, I got it tuned up to pitch, but I heard some pinging and things going on with the G-string. The nut looks cut okay. Let's see what's going to happen. It's already feeling better. Let's take another measurement, but this won't be the be-all and end-all because it's still going to shift and move over time. We appear to be at 1.75 now. That's much better. Right, here's where we're at now. I've tuned it back up and the action is feeling really good, really acceptable. But we've got loads of buzzing. So, check this out. The buzzing's on the lower frets. I'm going to play the D string and the G. So they're already kind of buzzing a little bit, it's open, but on the lower frets, fret 2 is buzzing more than the other, so that means there's a higher or low fret there somewhere. Once I get up to 7, it's cleaning up a little bit. 12, a little bit of buzz. Really clean from here up to 14, 15, 16, 17. So what that tells me is that it's not too low on this side. I've maybe turned it too much, but I do like where it's saying that it is on the 12th fret. So does that mean that it's only possible to have no buzzing with higher action? If that's the case, then 
this isn't going to work for me. Or it's going to need the frets leveled, which is also not going to work for me. Let's see, I'll try some more adjustments. I'm going to bring up the action a little bit and then we'll plug it in. Just a wee bit. Still buzzing, but it needs time to adjust. So it's probably going to be an overnight job, but in the meantime, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's the bridge pickup. Really bright, quite harsh, um, and it still has the little plastic cover over the pickup, which I'm keeping on because I don't know if I'm keeping this yet. First thing I'm noticing is that the treble strings are way louder than the bass string. Will I fix that? I'll quickly fix that. Wow, treble strings are really bright. I've lowered that, but it's still picking up them a lot louder. That's more balanced. It just seems to be quite weak on the bass side. Okay, that's that. Sounds okay. Let's try the neck. Kind of the same thing. Let's try that. Yep. Let's hear the middle. Okay, so now the neck's quite a lot louder than the bridge, so I just need to lower everything a bit, or a lot, on the neck. Maybe a bit more height on this bass end. Right, okay, so here's what we're thinking so far in terms of the sounds. I actually like these sounds. I kind of really got a thing for bright, piercing sound at the moment, and that's what this is doing. It's quite jangly. I know these pickups are going to be cheap and not amazing, but interesting. I like the sound. The balance is a bit off. Usually I would expect more output from the bridge than the neck, but this seems to be the opposite. But I do like the vibe of this. If I can get the buzzing issue sorted out, then this could be something I can work with and then we can go on and do a further review and I might even keep it and do some mods. Mods that I already have in mind are changing up the tuners. That's maybe it. Initially, I'd want to just change the strings and polish up the frets because they've just got that typical new guitar kind of grindy frets and strings, but that's completely acceptable and normal. I can actually feel a lot of potential in this guitar. Hopefully I can solve that buzzing issue. Right, let's hear some gain tones. Just one more thing. The format of these videos is like unboxing and my first impressions. For these, I'm just using the room mic, so the audio is not gonna sound spectacular. But if I do like the guitar, I'll give it a full proper review in the future with better audio quality. Bridge. <laughs> Middle. Neck. Thank you. 
microphonic, you can hear it when you're changing the pickup selectors. It's quite loud. I actually quite like it. No lies, I like the sound of this guitar. More gain. <laughs> Just want to hear the tone control on the bridge. Yeah, the tone control is not great. It works, but it's kind of like uh, on from 10 till about 3 and then it tapers off like from 3 to, to 0. Probably replace that too. Okay, so here's a wee overview. I like the sound of it. We've got some buzzing. I hope we can fix it. The fit and finish looks okay. I mean, yeah, the tuners are all on. Okay, they're all turning. The nut looks okay. Yep, not too bad. There's a wee crack there actually. Hmm, right. The binding on the neck is not too bad. The fret ends are okay. They're kind of like square affinity level. A wee bit sharpish as you go up. Sort of especially on the top side, which doesn't really matter. It's very rare that you would contact these parts of the frets anyway, but it's not too bad. That's pretty good, actually. I could probably improve it a little bit more, though. The weight is good. It's nice and light. It's really, really resonant. Like, unbelievably resonant. Really resonant, I like it. Uh, also, I'm not used to having the bridge this far over when I'm playing, so the natural place to play, say if I was on a strat, it'd probably be like here, I'd be strumming. Which still sounds quite bright, but my hand naturally wants to sit here, which is adding to that jangly factor. I do like this. Uh, I hope I can get it up to scratch. Update to follow. The only other guitar I've heard before with a reversed headstock was a brief encounter with a Jackson Dinky Performer back in the 90s and a Washburn N2. So it takes a bit of getting used to it, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. I definitely like the vibe of this guitar though and I think it would be quite useful for recording. After a wee bit more playing, it seems like most of the buzzing is coming from the second fret, so I think that means we've got a high third fret. Um, the E string is buzzing all the way. Pretty much every single fret. The high E is not too bad. Starts off with a wee bit of buzz, especially on that second, and then it's pretty much clean all the way to the top. Uh, same with the B and G, D and A slightly. So that means I can maybe just put a wee bit more height on that from this end. Nah, it's not going to be that. So I'll maybe turn the thrust roll just a wee bit more, see if I can resolve that. So is that enjoyable? Let me know in the comments. Have you tried one of these before? Have you tried a Fazley before? This one in particular is a bit of a rare beast. This is what happens when I don't script the videos. I have no idea what I'm talking about. If you liked the video, consider giving it a wee like, thumbs up, or you can even subscribe to the channel. You never know, you might like it. Right, until next time. Till later.